My name is Osiris Hoyle. And I'm part owner of this Taco. Grew up in Yucatan, Mexico. Um, I, you know, a small farm. Good to see yeah, you. I, know. I moved to the United States in 1999. <laughs> I miss so much the food from home. I would start calling my mom and I was like um, asking her how to do my favorite meals. You know, and it's how I, I started to uh, practice my skills. Yeah, she, so Allison and I were neighbors in Arlington, Virginia. He was lamenting that the construction industry had kind of collapsed and he was without work. I got laid off and, uh, and my wife was pregnant. I said, well, what do you want to do? What do you love to do? And he said, I'd love to own a restaurant. I was like, you know, I don't have the money to open a restaurant. So we invest a small amount of money and then it's how we started this tackle. We were essentially one of the first food trucks in D.C. We started only as breakfast tacos until people started asking, well, what do you have for lunch? I started making the carne asada, pollo asado, you know, um, something different every day. Twitter and Facebook, you know, I was able to tell people what we're going to serve for the next day. So social media has been fantastic for us. We spend zero dollars on marketing. Osiris is an absolute beast on Twitter. If you see a boring tweet, that's me. If you see an exciting tweet, that's Osiris. <laughs> and he's always responding in Spanish. I want to teach Spanish to my customers. And that make it fun. After about a year, uh, we said, well, we're making enough money with a food truck, we could probably invest that and start a restaurant like we originally wanted to. So I was very happy and very nervous at the same time. So, how, how was practice? Wonderful. Outstanding. Yeah. It's just like this little... Running a restaurant is running a business first. Business 101 still applies. You got to make more money than you're spending. You have to treat your employees with respect. Um, a lot of the same lessons that I learned uh, in other industries apply 100% to the restaurant business. We listen to uh, suggestions. <laughs> Bad feedback sometimes is the most valuable. A lot of the folks that reach out to us in a negative way, and when we get back to them, a lot of times they become some of our best supporters. When you come to this Taco, you see the passion, the passion how we're doing things. Customer service is very important for us. And when people see that, people will come back. I like that it's fresh, it's local, it's not a chain. These tacos are the best. La comida está bien rica. I've been here a lot. It's good. Every Friday for the fish tacos. I like it, it's very good. <laughs> awesome. I always tell customers that we don't own this Taco, they own it. And as silly or goofy as that may sound, it's completely true. We took a risk. Everything what we've done is because we follow our instincts, we follow our passion, and we make it work. My American dream came true.